What's going on guys, King Shrats here, back into the video on the channel, and today we actually got Chinese food. I was looking through all of the apps like I always do, just looking for different places that I might want to try, and I saw on two separate apps that this place was voted most reliable on Uber Eats, as well as DoorDash. On Uber Eats, any place that's really popular gets a little green medal, and on DoorDash, it gets a red medal, which is considered most love. This place was on most love on both apps. And normally when you go to Chinese food places, I mean, they all serve the same food. So what made this place stand out more than the next? So I decided to take that to the test. I got some of their most popular stuff. And of course, what my normal go-to is, which is what you will see. I went to a place called Sui Min House. It's located in Patterson, New Jersey. And like I said, most reliable, most loved on both apps, as well as a 4.5 on Google. So let's just get into this, man. Let's open this bag up and see what's going on. You can see this bag's completely sealed. So I have not looked at this as always. Shouldn't say always. If you see the stuff out, I looked at it, but I'll always tell you. Let's take some of this out. So we've got some hot and spicy wontons. Or are these the fried dumplings? That looks like the hot and spicy version. So these, yep, there you go. So we got fried dumplings and wontons, both really, really popular from here, as well as this is always what it is. If you don't know, this is Singapore May Fun. I know some of you probably said it out loud when you saw it because I get it every single time I go to any restaurant because it's my favorite dish to order. I did it again. I never asked for mustard, bro. Uh, it's just like, it's like, I just, I never remember. I never remember. And we got an entree. What did I get? Oh, yeah, this was, oh, they sealed this thing up. There you go. These are their barbecue spare ribs. Now, they did specify this. It says it was marinated in their famous barbecue sauce, and it said there is no sauce that comes with it. So I was expecting this. It comes with pork fried rice, and last, we got this i couldn't i don't even <laughs> i love it i love it i love it a fried pork chop sandwich bro on white bread <laughs> i had to get this this wasn't a suggestion this wasn't anything this is just a pork chop sandwich bro i had to there's no way i wouldn't finish okay listen patterson is, is this is a hood spot so they have some fried sandwiches this cost six dollars i had to do it I had to try that for the one time. That one's a complete one on me. So let's see if this stuff is any good. Let me take this stuff out through the power of editing. We do have the Coke Zero Sugar as well. And let's get into this video. So let's start with an appetizer. We got two different kinds. We got hot and spicy Szechuan wontons as well as their fried dumplings. Now you have the option of getting these fried or steamed. And steamed was the one that was not picked as much. I don't know why I said that backwards. Fried was picked more. And it says they have homemade dumpling sauce. So let's give it a shot. First one without, you can see the fry on there. There, as soon as I bit this, I could immediately tell that they did something different that most places don't do. Full disclosure again, if I show you any bitten thing, there's a reason behind it. Most places do not put the sauce in the dumpling. And that is sauce inside the dumpling. I'm going to guess it's the same sauce, but you don't even need it because this is so juicy already. Normally, these are really dry on the inside, so it's a nice touch. It's homemade. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. And that is a damn good dumpling. But let's try another one with the sauce on there I'll be damned the dumpling sauce tastes like a mix between soy sauce maybe like hoisin because there's a sweet aspect to this that is much sweeter than I see in most dumpling sauces which is usually something similar this one's a little bit sweeter. These are good. Look at that. Sorry again. You don't usually see this in a dumpling. They're $9.95 in order. So a little bit more on the pricier side. But as far as just finding a random takeout spot, yeah, I would pay $9.95 for those every single time. 9.2 out of 10. That is a hell of a start. 
They might have been on to something. I'm not going to lie. Hot and spicy wontons. Look at this. She got the chili oil on there. You can see it. I just spilled half this damn thing in the container. It was a little loose. It's the same dumpling sauce. Gotta get another one. Could just do this. That'd be an idiot. I wish they would have done what they did with that. With this. Because I think... This chili oil on the outside just adds a nice little spice to it. When you mix it with that sweet soy sauce, so you got salty, sweet, and spicy in this wonton, you've got one hell of a combination. But the only thing that I don't like as much from these is that this one's just a lot less dry on the inside. These are kind of dry on the inside. Not really dry, just kind of dry compared to that. There is a noticeable difference. The texture is a little bit different too because you're using a wonton wrapper, which is normal. But that's also very good. These were these were better though. What I would do, I know you can order the chili oil on the side at most places. I would just take that and put it on there. And you would have like the ultimate dumpling. Those are very, very good. Those are also legit. But I need a combination of the two. I give that an 8.4 out of 10. I do like those a lot. But that one just knocked my socks off. Singapore made fun. <laughs> I feel like every single... I'm like a broken record with these. But I'm still going to go through it. Singapore made fun. Made fun. I'm not editing that. Is a rice noodle, which is like angel hair thin, right? Ooh, wait a minute. With a mild to spicy curry sauce, and it has all of the proteins in it. So again, you can see there's chicken, there's pork, there's shrimp. I say this every single time. I might as well just play like a sound. And you do have the steak as well. This looks good. One of the other things I have to say before I try this, I don't see many rest mess rest. Cheese, man. I'm just off one. You usually don't see many restaurants that allow you in their online ordering menu to specify what kind of spice you would like on this. They had all the way up to extremely spicy, then they had mild spicy, then they had regular spicy, and they had no spicy. You don't see that. Just like, you can ask for it a lot of times, but it's on their order when you ask for it, which I found really cool. This is the spicy, so it's not extremely, but it's just like the regular spicy. We might have found something here. We might have found something here. That is damn good. The noodles are perfectly coated in oil. They're not oily, but... I don't know if I can get you close up without dropping this all the way over your face. There's just a noticeable coating of it with a nice curry hint of spice. I also see red chili flake in here, which I normally don't see in Singapore May Fun. And it adds a even nicer balance with that heat. The other thing I noticed, the vegetables. They still have snap to them. Most of the time when I get this, the vegetables are soggy. They're not in this. And you get good amounts of the proteins in there as well. Which, normally the pork is dry. It's not. I'll be damned. You would have never, I mean, you'd never think it. But. Also, Yes, I just did that. This container was twelve dollars. 
normal places, usually closer to 15 or 16. This might be the best. I don't want to say that, but this might be. If that's not the best, I need to go back and try the rest. Because that is about as good as it gets. I, I would never expect that to have that much flavor and taste this good. Oh, crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. 9-8. 9-8. 9-8. 9-8. I can't believe that. That's wild. They got me there. I'm going to have to finish this, bro. I'm going to lie to you. Wow. Over here, boneless spare ribs. Why do I say boneless when there's literally... I'm used to saying boneless, I guess. But you see, there's the bone in. It says it's marinated in their barbecue sauce. But it's dry, meaning there's no actual sauce. You can ask for sauce on the side... But they seem to adamant that they didn't want you to have that. Comes with pork fried rice. And this was the most expensive thing I got. So it's $16 for this. That's the most expensive thing I ordered from here. This was in second with 12 Everything else is under $10. So let's see. Nice big rib here. Look at this rib. Okay. That catches up to you. I was ready to say that this didn't have much taste to it. As you chew it, you do get that barbecue marinade that's in here. You get it. And it's a lot stronger than I thought. Didn't really need the sauce. Bite integrity. If I show you bite, there's a reason. Bite integrity. You can see each bite I took. So I took two bites. And that's what you want in a rib. If your rib just falls off the bone, you can have your preference. I'm not saying you're wrong for this. But when you're talking like competition ribs... That's what they look for. If it falls off, it's considered overcooked, believe it or not. Some people have a preference that like the ribs falling off the bone, which is perfectly fine. This is actually my preference. I like it like this. I think the flavor is pretty good, too. And I like the texture and the taste of it as far as the integrity I just went through. But look at that right here. See that? Do you see that? As he holds it up to a camera. Nice little charred pieces on the end, too. It's fatty, but not overly fatty. I like this. I like that a lot. Then we got the pork fried rice. The staple. No spoon. We ain't get one. Above average pork fried rice. Wouldn't be mad at that. This is a nice little meal. For me, I still prefer my ribs with a little bit of like a wet sauce with it, but they did specify that. So, not my preference, but still, wouldn't be a rib that I would be mad at if I ordered that. Eight out of ten, and the rice is above average. I'll give it a seven. <laughs> I had to get it. We have the fried pork chop sandwich cost $6, and they got two fat pork chops on some white bread. You can only get stuff like this if you go to certain places. This is why, this is this is what it's all about. But let's see, listen, listen. My hands are too greasy. I always keep this with you. This is one of those, like, I can work with this sandwich. I don't know if that makes sense. 
but for as much as you get for six, the, the patty or the chop itself, it's really, really crispy, but it doesn't really taste like anything. Like, it, it's just, just the breading that's on there. But I would definitely still order this and just put some stuff on it like I'm doing. And not be mad at that. The pork chop is still juicy. It's not dry. And again. Really, really crispy. It just needs something. Which is that. For six dollars, I ordered that again one hundred percent. Just know, yeah, I can get it. They don't give you the mustard unless you ask for it. I would have thought that was a banger with the mustard and the hot sauce, like for real, like the Chinese mustard in particular. But I would still order this again for a month that you get on the white bread. That's just a fire little sandwich. Seven out of ten, I'm with it. I'm really with it. This is one of those things. I can guarantee you people that live around there, they've had this before. Like, yo, I'll put you on on it. Because it's really good. I ain't gonna lie to you. I have to try a little bit more of this May Fun. A little bit more of this food because it, it, it is that good. But I did have another thing that I was talking about today. I'm making a mess. Yeah, one guy, yeah. Noodle crazy. Pause. Anyway. I saw it today. This is football, but not really. I touched on it yesterday, but I guess the secret's out that Travis Kelsey, who, as a football fan... Most football fans know Travis Kelsey is literally one of the best tight ends to ever played a game. Some people don't really see the light right now, but when it's all said and done, he might be the best because he's still got gas in the tank. And he's like top three in most receiving categories already. And he's one of those tight ends that's complete. He can block, he can catch, he can do it all. He can play in line, meaning in a stance or like wide or as a stand up. Doesn't matter. But the cat's out of the bag now that he's dating Taylor Swift, right? Because uh, she was at the game yesterday, which I didn't even really know too much about. But I was watching the Chiefs game, and when he caught a first down at the beginning of the game, they went right up to the... She was in a press box. I was like, wow, I guess they really are together. But a report came out today. Well, two things. Well, I'll start with this one. I said this like three weeks ago. I didn't realize that she was like... Like that when it came to status. Because I don't really listen to like pop music like that. They said his jersey sales went up 400% yesterday. That's crazy. But I have to say that that is a huge effect from her. Because all it took was her to show up at the game and just like stamp it. Like, yeah, now we together, right? And there you go. All her fans and all that stuff. Because... Again, he's a very popular player in the NFL, but 400%, that's her effect. So if you're now a football fan, <laughs> welcome. There's two things that have come out in the last six months that have made a lot of casual football fans. And as a person who, I hate saying this, but it's kind of true. Like, I'm a lifelong person. I've played it since I was five years old. I'm a student of the game. I love watching games. I watch games that I don't care about the teams that play. I just like watching the sport because I love it. I love the chess match. I love everything about it. A lot of casual fans have showed up to college football because of Deion Sanders. And now I've noticed a lot more casual fans that are like tuning in to watch because of her. And they're like, is this guy good? I got asked that like three times today. They're like, is that Travis Kelsey guy good? I'm like, yeah. But it's funny to me because I love seeing people that if you're interested in the game, man, that, that's that's that melts my heart, bro. Because I feel like a lot of people think that football is a sport. That's, like, for idiots. Like, you you can't, like, it's just two people or, or 11 people or 22 people. Or you want to look at it, running into each other aimlessly, and there's more of a science to it. So, I feel like 
happy that more people and more eyes are on the sport. I know the NFL has always been a big thing, but that, it just reminds me of like Super Bowl commercials. But I got to ask a lot of questions about stuff today. Like, so what's a tight end? I like that kind of stuff, man. Second thing that I heard about this relationship, and this is like, I wish I had money like this. But again, this is all alleged because I don't know. I'm reading this stuff through blogs and whatever. So apparently after the game, they went out. Her and Travis Kelsey, right? And supposedly they went to eat. And she bought everybody's food in the restaurant to leave. I wish I had. Could you imagine just having so much money that you're like, listen, I know this restaurant's hella packed. So I'm going to buy everybody's food, but y'all got to go. Supposedly because they wanted privacy, which I completely get. Being her, I saw a video of her. She was in a press box like a suite. And there was like, at a sold out game, there was people just waiting in the lot, like just standing there. And there was like armed security outside. Crazy. And I think that that's the other side of fame. When you're on famous on that level that a lot of people don't necessarily realize that I don't know if I would be even okay with that you're so famous that you can't leave your house without like a mob of people just trying to get at you, which isn't really a bad thing. But at the same time, you don't know what people's intentions are. Not everybody that knows who you are has good intentions. And that's the scary part, you know, because you don't want to get caught. Like she can't leave the house alone. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't know like what people are thinking. Some people just may want to hug her a picture, but other people may wish bad things on you. So she's just trying to enjoy the game like a normal person would. Obviously, it's in a suite, so not really normal. But she's still a human, and there's just mad people outside. Most of them probably had good intentions, but it could be that one person that you never know. And that has to be like a little bit, I don't know if concerning or, or scary or whatever is the right word, but that's her reality. Like, she can't ever escape that. And... You know, she, she meets a guy, obviously he shot a shot. I heard a story about he bought like a friendship bracelet or something crazy like that. And, um, yeah, we're going to go in here. Ooh. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. And he put his phone number on it or something. And it landed. Cool. So she meets a guy she's interested in. And you just want to go out and like grab a bite to eat and have a conversation and in order to do that, you got to buy out a restaurant just to get a little bit of privacy inside of a restaurant. I get it. The trade-off is obviously you got money, fame, and all that kind of stuff. But sometimes you just want to be normal. And I can understand that being tough. And I'm not saying that I get it to that degree. But to a much, much smaller degree, I do understand it. Because even personally, sometimes it's a little rough to like go anywhere without that being like the topic of conversation like when i went to the wedding every person that i hadn't seen in god knows how long it's it's like you're almost answering and talking about the same thing over and over again and it's it just makes you feel kind of strange because it's like a one party was like you know you're happy because you're doing something that you like and people are like recognizing it like that's really great but the second part is when you were friends and family it's the last thing you want to talk about because you just want to be you and you're not you no more you're, oh, like, I seen you got a little check on your account or this, like, and it's like, bro, it's just, I'm still the same person, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, can we just, like, let's talk about the game. That's all, you know what I'm saying? I get it. It's cool. But at the same time, it's, it's almost like there's no, like, reality anymore that that's not your reality. So I couldn't imagine being her where that's everywhere. You get what I'm saying? Like, no matter where you go. Because when I go out to, to clubs or if, I don't go to clubs, I shouldn't say that. But I've been to bars or like I go to the store, I go to a restaurant. I've talked about this on stream. I usually do get recognized because in my area, most people know what I do. I'm not saying that would be the same thing if I left the area, let alone, you know, the state. Like, I, I don't think if I went to any other place other than the county I'm at, that it would be like that. Though, again, I said this, I went to a Yankee game and I was taking pictures. And, bro, I felt like I felt almost like I wanted to apologize to people because it was so hot that I was just like... You know, like, I wasn't doing that to them. I would, I just felt gross. It was hot. I was sweating. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had a headache because the, the sun, we was there. It was like a, a early afternoon game. It was 1 o'clock. And 
I was tired, bro. So I felt almost like when people said hi that I wasn't being nice enough. I didn't want people to think that I was being rude because I still was like, hey, man, how you doing? Thank you. I appreciate you. I shake hands or, you know, whatever. I take a picture. And it, for me, it's like, I, I, like, you want to take a picture with me? Like, I'm not nobody. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's incredibly, I'm incredibly grateful for that. But what goes through my head sometimes was like, was I being weird? Because I, I felt like I didn't stop and talk long enough or something like that. And that's like a strange thing for me because I, I'm I'd never look at myself as anything like that. Like I'm a normal ass person to me, you know. Um, so I couldn't imagine being her, where she's completely on the opposite end of that spectrum. If there's a scale of this, she's like an eleven, and I'm like a point five. You know what I mean? So I couldn't imagine just not being able to go anywhere without it turning into like a mob of that. Where me again, Yankee Stadium has sixty thousand people. And I get recognized, I think I got recognized like seven times. You know what I mean? Like, now imagine all 60,000 people knew who you were. You're on a Jumbotron. There's people trying, you're trying to go to the bathroom. People are like, hey, hey, hey. I couldn't imagine it on that level. But it's it's still super cool. But I, I just, I, I was thinking about that when she said she bought the restaurant. Because I know some people commented, they were like, you know, who do you think you are and stuff like that. That's like her reality. I, I know that there was a video one time, I think it was Kim Kardashian. Was that like the American dream? And she was in, like, an empty store with, like, her daughter and stuff. And because sometimes you just want to, like, go to the store. But could you imagine being somebody, like, legit, think about this. Could you imagine being somebody that you couldn't literally walk out the house to get the garbage? You know how you go take the trash out? There's somebody waiting out there with a camera. Like, you just try and do normal stuff. And you can't without, you got to look your best at all times. Like, say you're at a restaurant with your, this is real stuff. Say you're at a restaurant with your friends, right? Like, you, you maybe, maybe you're with your girl or whatever. It doesn't matter. And there's somebody taking pictures of you, you know? And then just one, like, little picture where you're, like, you know, maybe you ate some shrimp and the shrimp didn't taste right. And you were just, like, and the headline the next day says, like, whatever your name is, you know, let's just say your name is Joe. They're, like, Joe looks mess, uh, mad on date with friend. I seen a video with Ben Affleck like that where there was a video where it was, like, Ben Affleck and, it, and J-Lo and he was, like, opening a door. And they showed like a little piece of it and it looked like they were fighting. But when you saw the whole thing, they weren't fighting. And it was like that at like a dinner tour, or like an Oscar or something. There was like two instances of that. And I couldn't imagine having to deal with, you know, being in a public eye to that degree where you just take a bad picture where it just looks bad. You could be at a restaurant and, and you know, I don't know, you could fart, bro. Like, like and you, and you make a face like this and somebody snaps the picture at that one time. And now you're like, you know, there's a headline on TMZ the next day that just says, looks mess, looks mad on date. You know what I'm saying? That's got to be wild. I couldn't imagine that. But at the same time, it is really cool to do something that you love to do. And for people to enjoy that thing that you love. Like, they, they enjoy whatever it is that you're doing. Music, content, whatever. And people enjoy it. It's still like a surreal feeling, personally. Um, because again, I just feel like a regular person and there's times where I do have that, but at the same time, it's just like, like, I, I always say to myself, like, I couldn't imagine being like, I like to go to the movies and sometimes I see people at the movies, you know, I see people and I had employees. I've had people, I, I had one time to do was handing out the popcorn. Cause it was like, he was like, yo, I like your videos, bro. I was like, yo, thank you, man. I appreciate it. You know, he kind of kept it moving cause the movie was on, but I couldn't imagine, like, just wanting to do stuff like that and go to the movies and sit down and, like, you're Taylor Swift and, and everybody at the movie theater is like, ah, and you can't even do nothing. Now you can't even watch the movie, you know? It's like a double-edged sword, man. But I'm sure they wouldn't and I wouldn't trade it for the world, even if you're .5 like I am or a .1 like I am to a 11 like she is. But I just wanted to talk about that because I was talking about stuff like that all day. Um, Monday Night Football is on right now. I'm actually going to stream tonight. I'm excited to get back on a stream, man, get back into... The, the normal swing of things, but, you know, we've talked about all that stuff. So let me go watch this game, clean this up, do what I got to do. But I love y'all. We'll be back tomorrow. More content, man, and hand signs. They made it to YouTube.